as those warmer temperatures approach quickly, so does that summer travel season. So I'm coming to you here from the most popular beach destination in America, Panama City, Florida, to bring you the top five burning tips for your summer vacation. If you're one of the 208 million Americans that will be road tripping this summer, make sure the launcher is accessible from your seat, not stowed in the trunk or in a bag in a back seat. If a threat presents itself, it will rarely give you time to run to the trunk or rummage around your luggage. While in your car, keep your burner concealed. While burner launchers are legal in all 50 states, overtly displaying the launcher may very well cause some undue attention and spoil that vacation early. Or maybe you're one of the 134 million Americans that are flying commercial to your destination this summer. In that case, your burner launcher can come along with you in your checked baggage, along with any type of burner projectiles, and they do not need to be declared like firearms do. While the FAA technically allows CO2 cartridges on commercial flights, the TSA does have some policies in place that may prohibit them. So if you're carrying an SD, think about dropping a couple of 8 gram CO2 cartridges in the mail to meet you at your final destination. Or if you're carrying a Berna Ellie, you are likely to be able to grab some 12 gram CO2 cartridges at any sporting goods, hardware, or big box store after arriving. Remember, on vacation, we tend to dress very differently than in our normal lives. So think about how you're going to carry your launcher while on holiday. If you're going to be spending a week in a bathing suit, make sure to bring along a sling bag or a waste pack to carry your launcher in. Remember, the best defense is avoiding the problem altogether. But just in case that isn't an option, with these tips and hey, Berna as your travel companion, I'm sure that if the time comes, you'll be prepared to defend.